We're now ready to install Active Directory on the Windows Server. Let's go over to Server Manager. And it looks like that. I mean, or if you can go start the little thing here and just find Server Manager. Windows Server Manager. Server? Yeah, Server Manager. There you go. Yeah, same thing. So we are going to click on Manage. And we're going to add a, a role and feature, or feature. An Active Directory is a feature, right? So you need Active Directory installed to actually join the domain. This is the whole purpose of this. We want to, when you, when you, sorry, when you install Active Directory, you're, you're not only joining it to domain, you're also making it the domain controller. So other servers can connect with you, connect to you. So um, the end result is to have, a bunch of computers so for instance you might have four or five different Windows machines that are connecting to one computer um, and then th let's say this Active Directory server has two network interface cards on it so one is connected to the internet and the other one is like a internal uh, internal network right and what you can do is this all the other boxes the Windows servers can access the internet through the Active Directory or domain controller server essentially. So let's say for instance your ISP or your in our case lab gives us say three IPs or five IPs or whatever and you don't want to use them all right so this is what you this is how you would get around that. You have one uh, domain controller everybody talks to everybody connects to on the private networks like the 10 network or the or the 192 or the 172 networks and then it has um, also a network interface another NIC card that has a public IP whatever that public IP is that's routable to the internet and that's that's the workaround here it's similar to like in VirtualBox where you have it where you can um, you can NAT or you can I forget what they call it um, bridge right or NAT your IP so, for instance, your laptop has internet, and your virtual box is just an OS that connects to that. And you can, I'm sorry, the virtual box is just a piece of software. Inside it has VMs. So those VMs connect, are bridged basically, or natted to your, um, to your laptop that has internet, right? So, I digress. So, uh, we're going to add remote. Uh, add role and uh, features. So wizards, we're going to push next on this. Okay, there's going to be a role-based or feature-based installation. Okay, so this is why we changed the IP. This is why we changed the name because it's very important to get on the right, right on the right step, basically, to do this. Um, it'd be very harder. It wouldn't be harder. It'd be easy, but you just want to get get it up get it off the right way the first time anyway um, we're gonna push next okay next okay um, we do need net for this so we're gonna click on the .NET 3.5 we're gonna click on this one and pretty much that's it right yep uh -huh, right so we're just gonna do .NET 3.5 and push next. Let's actually back up. What happened? Wonder why it. Oh, I know why. Um, I I didn't do it right. I needed to do a a feature. So that's probably what it was right there. Oh, I know what it was. I missed this. I missed this. I missed this step. That's important right there. I don't know how I missed it. I must have clicked it through or something. Anyway. Um, so this is, we're going to install this one here, the Active Directory Domain Services. We're going to click that little deal there. Okay. Yes, of course. Uh, domain Services. So, yeah. Active Directory Domain Services stores information about objects, network, makes this uh, information available to users. AD, uh, domain, Active Directory Domain Services. 
uses the domain controller to give network access to per permitted resources anywhere in the network, right? So this is uh, what we're installing, actually. This is why we're here for this. So we're going to push next from this. And we've already actually done our dot, dot .net or clicked on our dot .net, which is needed for this install. Um, Active Directory stores information, etc. It tells you about it and what it does. Um, click next. Okay. Looks like we're ready to install actually. So let's click on install. Yep. So it's going to give you like a summary of what it's going to install. Um, the information, uh, .NET, the Active Directory. So we're going to wait uh, you let this go through and uh, do its stuff and we'll come back when it's uh, done. Okay, it looks like we have an error. So, um, basically it's telling us we're going to have to install it somewhere else. Uh, an alternative path. So, that's fine. We're going to close this. And um, we're just going to start over again. Yep, so add... Well, let's actually start from the beginning, right? Manage add roles and features next role based uh, next select our server next so we're actually going to do this time we're just going to do dot uh, active directory domain um, services and we're just we're not going to check the dot net this time actually we're going to leave that blank and um, push next and push next from this. So what we've done is we've just left out the .NET 3.5. I'll go back and get it or uh, it may ask me for it. I know uh, it, when I've installed other things, uh, what have I installed recently? Oh gosh, oh I installed SQL, right? And SQL didn't like, it, you know, it had 4.5, right? But it said, no, I need to install 3.5. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I just I just install Oracle instead, right? For whatever reason, and um, you know sometimes um, now this machine has not been patched, right? So just know that. So there might be also some software that's not letting it happen, basically uh, hindering it or whatever. That may be the case. But anyway, let's try it this way, see what we get, uh, and then we'll go back and you know we'll just troubleshoot it as as needed. It's development. This is what it's for. It's your, it's your playground. It's your play box. It's your, your you know your test lab, your sandbox, if you will, um, to play around in. Basically, remember when you were a kid and you had to tinker toys and you had the little, I don't know what do you call it, um, the what are they robots? So there were transformers. They were like um, the constructicons. That's what they were. And so the construction cons had. They were like uh, machines. They were like uh, plows and forklifts, right? And you used to take them in the sandbox and you used to play around with them and, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. So, okay. Uh, let's see what it's doing here. Sometimes, sometimes Windows is a little funny, right? Um, it, it'll tell you, like, the bar is all the way to the right, correct? And then it won't, it won't tell you anything. Like, is it done? Are you still doing something? You know? Uh, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, I guess you got to read, right? Yeah, I didn't read. I just looked at the bar like normal. Um, configuration required. Installation succeeded on Windows 20 uh, Active 12. Cool. So we we'll close this. And if we go to our, actually, our server manager again, let's push refresh and get rid of this red thing here. Okay, well, I'll just click that here, click it, and what's it telling me? Okay, look at that little X, just exit out of there. Awesome. So, cool. So, there's two parts, right, to Active Directory Remake Controller. First part is installing what you just saw me install, right? The second part is you're going to promote this server to a domain controller. Yeah, that means you're going to um, take it from just the regular Windows server and you're going to make it a domain controller bam by just pushing this button promote this server to a domain controller click it so we have a couple different options here 
um, add a domain controller to an existing domain. We are not going to do that because we are going to do our own deal. Add uh, a new domain to existing forest. Nope. And we're going to add a new forest. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so our, our server name, what do we say? I think we said CV Lab, I believe it was, dot local. So that's what we'll use. It's Commvault Lab dot local. We'll call it that. Very short, very easy to remember. You know, type a lot of stuff, fat finger and all that. So CV Lab dot local. We'll push next. The next thing you're uh, next thing you're prompted with is the um, select a for functional level of the new forest in the root domain. So meaning, if you click on this, it's going to give you uh, different settings. So um, I remember in 2008 when you install um, Active Directory in 2008. If, if you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's learn backup and restore with Commvault, get a high paying job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.